All right, starting with eBay. Let's take a look at eBay. We are way, way down below the 200 day moving average. And I just drew a support line here. And so I don't really see any other support all the way down to about $59 ish. Currently sitting at 61. So that's a $2 move down. Take a look at the contracts. All right. Probably wanna go out at least a week. And then take a look at the puts on the right side of think or swim here. Again, we're sitting at 61, almost 62. Price target of 59, 36-ish. <clears throat> so we'd probably want to get a put somewhere in the middle. It's probably around, let's see how much the $61 puts are. Yep. That's what we would be looking at. So we've got a Vega of 04, Gamma of 0.10, Theta of 08, which is not terrible, and a Delta of 41 is not bad. So a two point move down would give us approximately 100%. eBay puts our possibility. Add it to the playlist. Oh, let's see here. All right. So I basically been looking at these charts all day, but I'm going to go through them again. Spy is not looking good today. We had a gap down this morning. Uh, it looks like it's trying to recover. There's a nice buyer's wick there. Bouncing off of the 100 day. So we'll see what happens with that. QQQ, same deal, gap down. That wasn't good if you were in uh, QQQ swing calls from Friday, lost about 70% on those. <clears throat> Neo, pretty choppy. We got a bit of a doji here with a, a large seller's wick. Could see an additional drop tomorrow. In fact, we don't have any support until about 2760. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, it's about, we're at a, roughly 30. That's about a $2 move down. We'll be looking at January 28th. Get rid of some of these other lines here. All 
All right, so that's what we're looking at. We want to see that move long before January 28th. Probably look at around $29 puts. Yep. Price is not bad. Theta is not bad. Delta is not terrible. Volume's not terrible. And $2 move would give us over 100%. I really like this candle. It tells me that we're going to go down tomorrow. All right. So we'll add that to our playlist. Walmart, just everything is just blood red today. What a terrible day for a stock market. Um, so with Walmart, if we zoom out and look at the bigger picture, we've got a ascending triangle. And a lot of times with the ascending triangles, it works its way up and down in the channel until it gets to the apex and then it breaks out. So if we look at the long term for Walmart, it's bullish, but the short term is bearish. So I'm expecting this to come down and bounce. We might see, we might see a run down all the way through February before it bounces. Now a leap play might not be a bad idea on Walmart. I bet you those are expensive as shit. Let me see. January 2023. No, oh, they're not terrible. 1100 bucks for a 145 call. You'd probably make bank on that. Forty nine delta, it's very good. Theta's point oh one, very good. But let's look at the shorter term for puts. It's a put play kind of day. So zooming in here, got earnings coming up on February 17th, which we'll probably see a run up. But until then, I think we're going to keep coming down here. January 28th, right here. All right. I'm not a huge fan of the theta here. I don't like a theta that's over 10. I like, I like the theta to be less than 10, so nine and below. But the delta is very good. Yeah, we're gonna skip Walmart for now. Let's take a look at ATVI. 
Look at what happened with ATVI with the news of Microsoft acquiring ATVI. Huge, huge, huge gap up. Man, if only we had insider information and knew that this was going to happen, we could have got into a call on Friday and just made bank. Now it's bouncing off the 200 day. Yep. So we might see a bounce on Microsoft here. <clears throat> I don't like this candle though, with all of this seller pressure going on. Earnings coming up on January 25th, risky. This would be a lotto. I'm sure implied volatility is pretty high. Forty percent. Yeah. Too expensive. Look at March calls on the weeklies. Get a price target of about 368. It could actually come all the way down here. Too risky, just far too risky with earnings coming up. Gonna leave it alone. Oh, Facebook playing the chop game as usual. Or I'm sorry, meta platforms. Wouldn't be surprised if we see this come down and hit this support line before another bounce. That's about a 15 point move. Yikes, expensive. Very expensive. Probably want a three fifteen foot. Yeah, something like this. That data. Oh my God. Yeah, no. Nope. Skipping it. Twitter breaking down past support. Could see a continuation to the downside for Twitter. Earnings February 10th. Not loving it. Let's draw a trend line here. Something like that.
All right, let's set an alert. Call that one upside potential. And then we'll call this one possible breakout. Whoops. Uh -huh. All right. I don't want to play it to the downside with earnings coming up, but we'll keep an eye on this because if we do get an earnings run up, we'll want to get in on that. God, everything is just red today, man. Palantir falling with no support in sight. Earnings are quite a ways out. <clears throat> Let's see here. RSI is very oversold, though. All right. Whoops. I'm going to take a look at Saba. So we're like right at support, but it's been consolidating for quite a while. If we can break down past this support line here, could see a run lower. Set an alert. Possible downside. Okay. <clears throat> Sig was another one I wanted to look at. Draws the trend line. Something like that. Got a nice buyer's wick today. That's a chop though. Let's let's break out the Finviz screener here. Let's look for stocks under fifty dollars with over five hundred k average volume and holding on strong support trend lines with a relative volume of zero point seven five. See what we get. American Airlines. I'm looking for stocks that I recognize. Uber and All right, let's take a look at Uber. Strong support that's saying. 
Yeah. I could see that. We could see a bounce on Uber. This is our strong support line they're talking about right here. Take a look at the five minute. Looks like she's trying to recover. Let's take a look at the contracts. Uber. January 28th. Probably look at a 40 C. Here would be our forty dollar strike price. No, we don't want an alert. For January twenty eighth. Okay. All right, so we need a bounce here tomorrow. Let's take a look at Uber News. Trading lower after the 10 year US Treasury yield reached a two year high, which has pressured valuations. Worse than expected earnings from Goldman Sachs is also weighing on stocks Tuesday. This might be the reason our whole market is bloody. Shares of companies across sectors are trading lower after the 10 year US Treasury yield reached a two year high which has pressured valuations, the 10-year treasury yield hit an intraday high of 1.85% Tuesday morning before dipping to around the 1.83% level. When interest rates rise, the value of future cash flows is reduced for growth stocks, which in turn lower the value of the stock. Interest rate hikes are not good. No bueno. I do like Uber for a recovery. Let's 
check the Greeks. 42 delta, 08 theta, everything is good. Implied volatility is a little high, but not terrible. Nice spread, nice tight spread. Somewhat cheap. All right, we'll put this one out. Uber, 40C. One fifteen, one twenty eight, forty percent stop loss, call and swing. Give the chart here. Actually, let me draw an arrow so it's as understandable. There. All right, those will be the two swing plays I give for today. Let me go back to my playlist. I'll add this one to the playlist. It's already on there, all right. Disney, we're looking for a gap fill here on Disney. Huge bearish and golf or bullish and golfing candle today. Also, very large buyer wick and entering the channel. Disney might not be bad for a call. To fill that gap. Theta is very high. Let's see what the gap is. Top of the gap is 155. We're not going to want to go any higher than that. So this would be the one we're looking at. I don't want to go that, I don't want to go that close because of theta. Theta will just crush. So if we do 155 for January 28th, it'd be better.
keeps entering the channel and rejecting. So if we get this move, probably won't be until tomorrow. If we get it, this is risky. I'll put it out as a YOLO. Okay. <laughs> Looking at one fifty five C. And we're looking at about One eighty three, although we could probably get filled better. Once this rejects again, let's do one eighty. One twenty eight, twenty two. 50% stop loss. No, you know what? Let's do 30%. 30% stop loss. Risky. Not in play. Looking for a gap fill. It's a huge buyer's wick. All right, that's all the plays I'm given today. Don't want to overtrade. Three is plenty. Uh, we'll just do a little bit more charting. Let's take a look at F-cell. So we've got our downtrend line here, our resistance line in an alert set, as you guys know. We have a channel in the Discord for our trading view alerts. And so whenever one of these alerts hits, I post that in the trading view alerts. And then you guys can look at it and kind of make your own decision. Look at the options yourself. Um, it's a good place for you guys to go and look and practice. If you want to, if you want to kind of practice on paper trading or anything like that, you can look at those alerts and then come up with plays off the paper trading to kind of get better and get a feel for uh, the trends and how to enter plays off of them. Blink, tell. So this was another one where we set this alert here. It was a downtrend alert. 
it broke out past it and then it had a nice run up on Blue Apron. Um, this line is no longer in play since that move has already been made. And now it looks like we might consolidate a bit. Although we do have a cup here and we may see a handle start to form. So let's draw a handle channel. Something like that. And this is our cup. And we'll set an alert here for a breakout of cup and handle. Chuy is no bueno. Huge seller's wick today. If this breaks down past the support end of this channel, we could see a pretty huge rundown <clears throat> because I'm not seeing any support for quite a while. Might have support around 39. So bit farms, choppy. Weed stocks, I'm not even going to look at right now. Wish another one where we've got our trend line. And actually, this one needs an alert. Possible breakout. Okay. So if if Wish decides that it finally wants to stop with this downtrend bullcrap and gets past this resistance line, we could see a breakout. Still got a gap to fill, um, but that's a long way to go. We've been on a huge downtrend on Wish, so we need to break out of that before I get into that. So we do have earnings coming up on March 7th, so we'll see what happens with that. Clean Spark, uh, bullish on Clean Spark long term. This was one of those stocks where this could be a good twenty dollars stock, and right now I'm seeing this as like extremely cheap to get in. So if you were to buy just straight up stocks, Clean Spark's not a bad one. We do have support here; it could come down a little bit more before bouncing. It's really not a bad price to get in for Clean Spark because I could see this thing coming back up to $20. I could certainly see it. Okay. Matter of fact, I think I might enter some straight up stock on this. CLSK. Okay. So Clean Spark, just a quick uh, about the company. 
CleanSpark is a sustainable Bitcoin mining and energy technology company is focused on solving modern energy challenges. So the reason, the reason that uh, CleanSpark is dropping is because of the bearish sentiment on Bitcoin. Company operates through the following business segments, energy, digital currency mining, and other business activities. So this will go up once we start getting bullish sentiment on Bitcoin again, but it's really a good price to get in at right now because I'm pretty sure that this is going to hit $20 again in the future. But that's why I'm just buying uh, just straight up stock and not um, options because we don't know when this is going to happen, you know. Oh, let's see. Actual shares. Let's do 50 shares. Now, if this was to hit $20, I buy 50 shares at $7.50 a share. I'm looking at, you know, a 300% profit. So I'll buy 50 shares now. And if it drops some more, I'll buy another 50 and then I can start selling calls. So there we are. And I'll actually put on alert for that too. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to put out that alert and then that's going to be it for the stream today. As always, guys, if you guys have questions, um, feel free to ask in the discord. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Good luck on the swings. Hopefully they're profitable. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.